anything just a heads up but I don't know it turns out I like multitasking so here's another YouTube video Welcome back to another YouTube video. It is your girl Linway, and it's absolutely no way without going through the way. And if you watched my previous video, you would know how much noise this chain is making these days. And the sun, it's not even sunny actually, it's just my face just wants to glow on this phone. But anyway, as you can tell, that I am going through some stuff right here on my head. What's happening right now is that I'm doing putting to do forelocks. So I'm gonna do four locks in a very interesting way. Um, I'm gonna make my own passion twist and my own Afro twist, whatever you wanna call it. Because I'm cheap. I'm super cheap. And plus, if I learn this hairstyle, it's just gonna be so good for my business. Yeah, if you didn't know, I do hair. Really? Really? Right now? But anyway, as I was still saying before, the whole aeroplane situation. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna show you guys. Well, yeah, I'm probably gonna show, show, show you guys the installation. Let me show you the whole situation right now. Cause I'm still parting the hair, so it's a bit tricky. This is the front, this is what I've done so far. Oh, that's also, okay. <laughs> please don't mind how much tying I have going on. Just so much, please. I want to make sure that this is so pretty because a girl getting ready for a very special day. I'm not getting married, relax. <laughs> it's weird that is the first thing that came, came into my mind, but uh, we're going to be having an like, uh, inner champion encounter. I'm really excited, like I've had amazing things about it. So I just really can't wait to see God move because yeah, I love it when God moves. So and encounters just the best times. So as I was still explaining, right? So I'm trying to part well, I've already parted the front, then the back is still chilling, then the rest of the hair is also there. I'm just show you guys up close. But you see my work, my work, my work. Okay, yeah, that's what we have so far. But yeah. Oh, and I forgot to say that we believe Jesus Christ is the way. And if you don't, if you don't know this face, I am a South African Christian YouTuber. I post content about my daily life, about faith, following God, devotionals. Follow me on my social media platforms. I share a lot there. Like I'm now even on TikTok. Yeah, she finally went to TikTok. Just lean away on TikTok <laughs> because I just I couldn't think of a name. Like so, I just well, my name was taken. The initial one but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video like don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i really really want to shoot the part where i make the braid but i feel like that's just gonna it's too much admin for someone who's supposed to be studying so i'm not gonna do that what i'm gonna do though is link the video where i got the idea and like i love her she is always giving me cheap options to do hair so yeah so that's all for today i'm gonna see you guys probably tomorrow when this is done i guess well that's my plan because i need to finish this um probably tomorrow after my exam my kinesiology exam by the way yeah i'm writing that exam that i declared war on it's funny that i'm so relaxed and so chilled it can only be god really it can only be god i'm too calm for someone who's writing a paper that she is not sure how it's gonna go down but god said just the word just the breath and there was life you know yeah i know my father and i've studied i've studied for almost two weeks straight for this specific paper so yeah because I can't be defeated by paper i refuse so yeah here's a video it looks like a cute thumbnail actually. Okay, so I realized later that I did not show you guys um what I like my what oh my goodness the equipment that I use uh for 
the braids, right? So this is flexible straws. So I, I, I got them in my local beauty store for 18 Rand, uh, which is super affordable. I got this crochet, I've had this crochet for three years now. Um, it was, I think, see, it's, it's, it's a bit starting to get bad. I, I need to buy another crochet. But anyway, I bought it for 10 Rand, and then these were also 10 Rand. So there were just like a lot of them, so I've used these ones. And I didn't want to like, use all the straws, so I reused the ones that I had used the previous night. Then obviously my Isoclass holding gel. I love the gel. It's like my favorite. I use it for everything. Then Vaseline for my head. Yeah, those that ask me what I put on my hair, it's Vaseline. It's really never nothing else. Like this is what I use to condition my hair. What I use to, like I use that for everything basically. I just wash my hair and then I put that on. So now I'm going to show you guys obviously how I do the whole procedure. But then... Yeah, I already have the hair ready and stuff like that. This is what I have so far. It's just like they're so tiny and they're so short. Uh, but obviously because it's the back. So yeah. <laughs> it's actually very interesting. I, I love how they're turning out because they're turning out exactly as I thought they would. Um, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to show you how I make this from this straight hair the curly what what situation and i have my straws i've already shown you guys the equipment that i'm going to be using but then since i want to what's the word like because my strand here does not reach the day and so i don't want the braids not to be like thick because i want them to be not necessarily thick but i don't want them to be too what's the word like maybe like like this i don't know the small bear but like they don't look like that if i don't you know braid and add extra braiding to it so i'm just gonna make this because i already have enough for the other one but i'm gonna use this just to show you guys so i just fluff the hair this is just i'm just gonna fast forward all of this because it's a lot going on here for the purpose of this video i am not going to like obviously well, it's funny, I just wanted to say for the purpose of this video. <laughs> I love. But I did use expression grade. Um, I used expression and I think that if you buy one million, it will also work effectively because one million also curls and one million is cheaper. So yeah, if you're in Africa. But if you're in other parts of the world, I don't know which grade you all use. But this is what happens now, right? I have the hair. As you can see, they have the hair strand already, and then I hook it to the straw. When I hook it to the straw, I twist to this side. So you twist to internally. I don't know, because I can't explain this, like, can say do a medial <laughs> rotation. You wouldn't understand that either. But, you know, you just twist it, then you run it around. Twist it. I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see what's going on on my hand because I can't tell what's going on in terms. I feel like my other hand hides because it's trying to, to hold everything else together. But then, yeah, I just twist. So, like, you twist as you twist. So, as you ravel, like, not to ravel, man, what's the word? As you twist around the straw, right, you have to be doing this to the hair. So, you're twisting the hair as well when you're doing this this just makes this makes sure that the hair gets secured and then stays there and now you roll around that little tiny piece of hair it's the one that actually holds the bottom part of the hair together and then now you have this going on situation there we go look at that perfect and then you do this then you, this is where now the bobby pins become very important and very essential so you now bring your bobby pin Put it right in the middle and just go straight up in and then bah, you have your road yeah so this is just it i'm not even gonna go into deeper detail of that now i'm gonna show you the ones i made yesterday obviously so here we go so these were made yesterday put into boiling water and boiling water for like i think one minute two minutes or something like that i left them for a long time yesterday because i was studying uh, but yeah, so now we're here. The water will drip, by the way. The water will drip. 
so this is now the string okay this is going to be one of the hair strands that i will be using to curl my hair i mean to that thing that that term there we go i'm just gonna put it aside and then i'm gonna do the same procedure i think i'm gonna do it until well i have to do it until all of them are complete and just like obviously secure everything else and put everything else in storage nice stuff that's just increasing for productivity i'm giving you tips for my student that does kind of love me and exciting time um so it's the same procedure you roll it down roll it down well for other people they 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 cut these shorts but then for me i'm a big person i'm a big saver of money guys that's why because you can even use this for um passion twist and all of that it's it's literally this is what they do but then they do it for you uh, but yeah if i think about it well i can't even make money out of this you know who knows and yeah i'm, I'm gonna see you guys later when all of this is done because i feel like if i keep talking this video is gonna be too long okay um i don't like shooting videos at night time but i wanted to show you guys how i curled the hair so this is just gonna be another segment so i'm gonna do like a proper sh like showing you how i do the actual step of getting the hair to this state on the specific straw and what type of materials are using you can see my nails have they had to be you know go through the most because they've been doing my hair but anyway this is i think this is approximately less than 36 so mm. and it's, it's not less than 36 it's less than 50 i know that because i reused the ones that i used for the first part of the hair i mean the bottom part of the hair these ones i made them a little bit thicker because i wanted to do the whole process faster <laughs> hopefully they turn out as good as the previous ones um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying this video and i'm gonna show you guys how i did this step specifically because this is a very important step because i used expression i didn't go and buy passion twist i made my own passion twist because that's why as you can see there that one's already falling apart <laughs> but it's gonna curl anyway so yeah see you when i well, I'll see you tomorrow after my exam so that I'll finish the hair after my exam. Well, as you can tell, I am almost done with the hair. Um, I love how it's coming out really, I really love it and I'm just left with a few partings but I thought it really important for me to show you how I'm creating the bobby look because as you, as you can tell the hair is not the same size everywhere it's longer here than it is here because obviously the size of where this is and so yeah I am using extensions so I'm using normal extensions well, I'm not curling these extensions. I wish I had, but then it's too much work anyway. So what I'm doing is right. Okay, so just a couple more. So I'm just gonna use this one to show you guys how I am doing the whole thing. So I have to keep everything tied up so that I don't miss any of these <laughs> ones. Um, so that I don't have to like show you guys again how I do it because it's a lot of work to film and so yeah I've done um, so it's like um, three strand braiding here and then from here I had just done normal twist because I was too lazy to complete it so I just take a very I wouldn't say minimal but like a very tiny piece of, of shinder hair I take it and then I bring it here then I just open this up because my hair was pre-detangled um, well, this is me saying pre-detangled then I just put that there in and then out and then I start braiding inward so when you're braiding it inward what it does, right, is to create the illusion of a longer braid so that like you can 
just to maintain the consistency of the thickness of this, if that makes sense. So the forelock's thickness is dependent on what's in it. So if you're using less hair like I am, obviously you need less of whatever. I'm tired of talking. But anywho, as you can see, so when I get here where my okay my own hair finishes, I just start pulling up yeah, pulling out from the other side and just continue like that. I hope this is so visible and I hope I'm explaining it properly. Because I feel like I always try to explain things, but then sometimes people don't get it. Um yeah, so I just leave it anywhere that I feel like it because I get lazy. So what I then found out was that when you use your comb, this is a trick I learned when I still had relaxed hair, you just fluff it in, fluff it in, when you fluff it in, you're creating these little tiny sparks. So when you create these tiny sparks, what they do is, right, they secure your lock in. Like, I can tell you that my end was so secure because of this. And plus, it already creates that, that specific illusion that you're wanting to see here. So as you can see, this is the same length. There we go. So I'm just gonna take that little smaller piece and start rolling it around. And then yeah, that's it for the strand. That's all that I do before I start, you know, covering the strand with, yeah. Because even right now it does already blend in. But you can tell obviously because it's not wrapped around. Yeah, I'm almost done. Can't wait for you guys to see the completed hairstyle. Let me just go make the rest of this and then braid it. And then I'm gonna come show you guys maybe when I'm left with two in front so that you can see how I'm gonna do those. I can make show you the technique that I'm using and so forth. Oh my god, the sun is gonna ruin this video, but I am left with just the sun parts. Just here. Well, and this part because I'm trying to see how much of the hair will be left <laughs> because I don't think I I calculated quite well, but then I'm obviously gonna cover my front first and then we can deal with the rest of everything else. I love how it's turning out, it looks really cute. And I look cute. So I am gonna explain what i will be doing who the sun though my goodness this is like the worst time to film okay i think i'm just gonna do some of my hair and then i'll come back when the sun is down because this is not gonna work looks, looks good with the camera okay it's short but i like it um yeah so the light is still here i was really hoping that the light will be gone by now because i really really want to go make food and i'm having a situation that i have one specific braid well see i have two in front right two left in front and then these four and the problem now lies on me not having enough for the remainder of this head I really don't know what to do and I low-key feel like I put too much on my hair um, it's not heavy at all it does really look wavy and messy it does look like butterfly locks and I'm glad that they came out the way that I wanted them to come out and they tie because that's that, that was my tag that as long as they tie it's perfect uh, I didn't want a bob that wouldn't tie up but I'm sure you can hear my voice is very very high speed. I don't know why, but I know I'm looking cute. And you know, I am the girl I think I am. Really, I am the girl I think I am. <laughs> my father's baby. Whew, yeah. Anyway, uh, as I was saying, the sun is still here, so I'm gonna come back probably when I have figured out what to do with the back and. 
I'll be done then when the sun is down then I will show you guys how I do my whole wrapping technique and everything I wonder how long it's gonna last because I've never really wrapped like so we'll see by the grace of the Lord I managed to do the entire head I'm left with just these two in front which I'm gonna use to illustrate how I was doing it and while I was you know braiding I noticed that some of them are already starting to like well slowly unravel down so I realized something a big trick that I think a lot of people don't know which I'm gonna show you guys now now so first things first what I do is obviously I have to extend this to this length so I bring out I think I showed you guys in one of those many other clips but I took a lot of clips so I'm just gonna do that now extend this braid I did show you guys this so I'm probably gonna fast forward this okay um then you take out your your hair your hair strand I had to reduce the number because I was finishing the hair strand faster than I wanted to and yeah, I was not gonna have enough if I didn't do that. But luckily the ones that are gonna be in front will be relatively big enough I, I assume to stay in front and to keep the front a little bit cutie. So the trick I was talking about, right, you're gonna see it in a moment, is to tie up the knot, like tie a knot at the top of this. Like it is not gonna cause tension at all. I have done it on the other ones again well only on a few when I realized that you can actually just tie a knot instead of having to worry about it coming down like this so the minute I do this right I come well I'm trying to come up close so that you guys can see me I insert the other knot I mean the other hair into the step wait wait a minute uh insert it into the strand of hair this is going to make sure that like the hair doesn't unwrap it. So I will do an updated video of you know the test run because to see if this passed with this did. But yeah, then now you just have enough hair lying there. And what you see there is that you've created a very strong base, which means your hair is not likely to unravel itself, which is what you want, right? So now we just do the usual twisting all around to hide the knot to hide everything else basically so yeah that doesn't and you need to um level toward the same side like and now start making it messy so by making it messy you just like sometimes you just pull out of hair sometimes you don't pull too much and you just you know you go with whatever feels natural really because i feel like with the like wrapping around something it's quite an easy task to do um well sometimes but this one i didn't have much difficult time wrapping it around so yeah as you can see but it did take long i mean this took me almost two three days well two days approximately but then if i count the day i was also doing the there we go and that's the, yeah, the forward look and that's the then i'm gonna do this one as well Oh, see my hair in front is a little bit short because I cut it almost every time I do my hair. It's the most ridiculous thing that happens to me. I literally just cut it by mistake every single time. Like every single freaking time. It is one of the most annoying things I do to my hair. But I don't know how this is already five minutes long, but I'm gonna fast forward this part. last braid finally there we go then in the procedure stretch it out make sure that you stretch it out like so many times because it naturally will just start and un like unraveling itself naturally so that you don't have like much trees and stuff like that and put leave in conditioner like if you have some for me i just put it back in because <laughs> Yeah, because my hair is very light, like I don't use 
a lot of products on my daily. Like I only use Vaseline and shampoo. And two in one conditioner. I mean two in one shampoo that really has conditioner. I don't like expensive work. So the girl that gets her hair during exams. But any food, just one more pour and we are out of here. Right. Similar procedure. Put it in. Close it up. Put it on the side. Oh, well, come out, crochet it when it does that. And then try and find the middle ground. When you found it, you put in the bigger forelock and the side. Then you always have to make sure that this other side is there so that you can do this at the end of it. Then when you do that, you can now, you know, wrap around it. Which is the fun part. <laughs> the easy part. I wear it three times tightly and then now start moving around, trying to be messy, creating whatever you want to create. Like, I just, I really just mess around with it. Like, I really don't have a specific pattern I'm following. I'm just, I'm going with the flow, really. So, yeah. And yeah, shorter than I wanted them to be, which is very funny, but then, well, he's always cute. It's always cute for how it works for me because well that's it but then your neck but then it's whatever what's done is done because i'm done you know this, this hairstyle has been taking it took out an interesting part of me taught me a lot about patience so now i'm just gonna polish it up obviously by just cutting out some teeth and then i saw some youtube videos suggesting that i use um Straighten out, tighten up. Now, okay, there we go. So yeah, that's all. That's the full hair. That's the full express situation. Um, that's yeah, it. We're done. We're done, darling. We are done, done. Completely done. So, and that is quite quite painful, but we are done, done. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to see you in the next update video of how the four locks are going. I'm going to probably do it before I leave home. That's if I'm going to undo my hair. I mean, before I leave for home. And then, yeah, that's if I'm going to undo my hair. But, I love you guys. See you in the next video. Update video. Update video.